Hello beautiful people, you are welcome back to our channel. Please kindly subscribe and like, God bless you. Nome Tiotakoya, wife to the senior pastor of the Fountain of Life Church, Pastor Taiwo Otakoya, has passed on. This was confirmed by the church's official Twitter account on Tuesday. The statement read, With deep regret and gratitude to God, we have to announce the passing of our senior pastor's wife, Pastor Nome Tiotakoya. She battled cancer for the better part of two years, she stood on the word of God, and she fought. We loved her with all our heart, but who are we to fight with the will of God? The truth is, at one point in our lives, we all will have to say goodbye. So for now, till we meet again in glory, goodbye Pastor Nomti. The statement added. Pastor Taiwo lost his first wife, Pastor Bimbo Otakoya, on December 10, 2005, in a Sausalisa plane crash. In 2010, he married Nomti, who is a South African. Pastor Nomti Rosemary Otakoya, wife of the founder of the Fountain of Life Bible Church, Taiwo Otakoya, has once revealed, how she met Pastor Taiwo Otakoya in 2016 Pastor Taiwo Otakoya had lost his first wife, Pastor Bimbo Otakoya on the 10th of December 10, 2005. However, in January 2010, Pastor Taiwo Otakoya married South African, Miss Rosemary Simangel Zulu at the Civic Center in Lagos. In a chat with the Punch newspapers, the pretty lady who now has two children, claimed she did not envision getting married to a pastor. I did not know I was going to serve God in this capacity. I was against it because I thought pastors were responsible for people's lives. I believed it was a burden too much to bear and I did not want to be held accountable if people did not live according to the gospel of Christ. I felt serving God and supporting the gospel in whatever way I could, was enough. I did not see myself in a leadership position in a country other than South Africa for that matter. Narrating how they met, she said, he came to minister at Triumphant Church International, London where I worshipped. I did not have my eyes on him because like every other minister that had come before him, I saw him as a man of God. I found his message amazing and absorbing. I even bought one of his books, Home Affairs. After the conference, my pastor told me someone was interested in me. I declined because I was seeing someone then. The relationship eventually did not work out and I informed my pastor but not immediately. To cut the long story short, Pastor Taiwo had a stopover in London and that was the first time we met. Before then, my pastor had given him my telephone number and he had called me. When he proposed to me, I did not like the idea of getting married to a widower. I took my time, prayed about it and I became convinced it was what God wanted for me. Being married to him is amazing and it has brought out potentials I never knew I had. I don't have to pray and say Lord help my husband go to church today. There is no struggle. On being married for 5 years, she said, I would be lying if I said, I am not snowed under. I think I am just who I am. I focus more on God's expectations of me and my personal expectations. I am wise and understand that God has given us people to help us. I don't overstress myself and I allow people to assist when necessary. On being compared to late Pastor Bimbo Odakoya, she said, everybody is comfortable in their own skin and I understand that God has different callings and purposes for people. All we need to do is fulfill our purpose and celebrate other people's calling. Fountain of Life Church is a wonderful one, they have accepted me for who I am. You would think I have been there forever. She further spoke on the relationship with her stepchildren, they are good children and I am a good stepmother. We have accepted each other but that is not to say we don't have our issues as a family. What you can't take away from us, is that we love each other. On turning 40, she said at 40, I have not achieved all I want to, but I am happy where I am. I try to work out as often as I can and when it's relaxation time, I read books and listen to worship music. I look for clothes that call my name. I think clothes have a character and tell a story so I wear only clothes that tell my story.